Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome to my second Let's Play, the one, the second of the two I'll be doing. And no, it's not one of these here. It is Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Yep, Mario said it better than I could have said it. Super Mario Galaxy. Ah. <sighs> Looking forward to this one, that's for sure. Well, looking forward to both, but... What, can I skip this? That little thing where... That little wrist strap... Um, instructions there it gives before every Wii game. It's like on some games you can skip it, and on some you, some you can't. Blue. R blue. Yellow. 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 Blue. What? 2007 Nintendo. It doesn't feel like... Yeah, look at that. I have nothing. <laughs> I deleted my um my old uh file. I had like I had co I had completely finished it too. I had I'd gotten all the stars, all 120 something or other stars, and then I also went through it as Luigi and got all of those. But it got deleted. I don't know how, but uh I guess for the LP we're going to go file 2 here create a game file on this planet yes yes let's do that saving oh man it's gonna save look at like my mid nummy I made that myself I think that's pretty good I don't like my dark like me I think my dark like me looks like shit but the mid nummy I think that looks pretty good I spent I spent like hours making this I mean it took so long I think I finally got it but that's not what we're gonna use uh, <laughs> no uh, what we're gonna do here, um, not Peach, for the love of God, not Peach. We're gonna go with Morio, what the hell. Normally I'd go with Yoshi, but, uh, Morio just seems like, uh. Alright. Zero stars, zero star bits. Here we go. Starting from scratch. Now, I won't be going through, um, Luigi Galaxy as well. Oh, every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. Oh man, we're gonna get something from Peach. Hell yeah. We're gonna get laid tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, never mind. Ignore my stupid ass. Pick up some star bits here. Use the pointer to pick them up. I am not going to explain the aspect. The uh, I'm not going to explain this game. Like I, you should know Super Mario Galaxy basically. All right. Now this is just the first little introduction. There are no enemies here. Just whoa, whoa, camera was tripped up there. Okay, I hate not having full control of the camera. Well, I don't. Why is it pointing backwards? I don't like it pointing backwards, dude. Holy crap, why? But is this camera supposed to be pointing backwards? No, I'm pretty sure it's not. D Dude, what the hell? Okay, hang on. Something happened there, and now I have no control of the camera, and it's pointing the wrong way. I can't see where I'm walking, man! How are you supposed to get somewhere when you can't see where you're going? Okay, okay. There, now let's see if... Maybe the camera's supposed to do that. No, it's not. See, it's supposed to be like this. There we go. I don't know what the hell happened. I guess I could be talking to these toads, huh? These things look like candy, but they're actually star bits. They're so sparkly. Yeah, they're so sparkly. Oh, dude, you got a spear and a shield. Nice, you're badass. Everyone's grabbing all the star bits they can. The star bits are awesome. Yeah, just grab as many as you can. I mean... They're not really important right now. Well, they will be later. I guess that's why you should grab them now, huh? Oh, I didn't think this happened this soon. Alright. 
Holy crap! Oh, someone's destroying the city. Airship. Jeez, what is this, Final Fantasy? It's with the airships. Looks like the airship from uh, Final Fantasy 1. Looks exactly like the airship from Final Fantasy 1. Sort of. I don't... I haven't played Final Fantasy 1 so long, I, I don't really remember it, so I might be wrong on that, but... Ooh, that looked like Bowsy. Mr. Bowsy. I, I think... Okay, any, any of you who've played Mario know what's about to... Know what's, uh... Those of you who've played any Mario game, you know what's about to happen here, even if you've never played Galaxy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the usual stuff, you know what's gonna happen here. So it's not like this, it's some... Whatever. Look at Bowser. I think Bowser should be a little bigger than he is. Princess Peach! You are formally invited to my to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> Look at those toads, those are supposed to be her guards. <laughs> some guards hiding behind her. This festival's over! Damn, look at Bowser They're controlling the weather. Oh. No, he's just... Oh, I thought he was, like, controlling the clouds, gonna make a thunderstorm or something. Whoa. Peach has bright blue eyes. Okay, everything goes from so happy to so... Whatever. Oh, I don't... I was trying to spin. You can't spin yet, dumbass. You don't have that yet. <laughs> just take... Like, in Super Mario Galaxy 2, Galaxy 2, you start with the spin, so it's like... I haven't played this one in so long, I forgot that you don't... Start with it. Look, see, I can't rescue this toad. Can I shoot star bits at him? Yeah, but it does nothing. Triple jump, long jump. I'll be using the long jump a lot in this LP. I'll tell you that right now. And the backflip. Those are the two I'll probably be using the most: the long jump and backflip. That's one thing about Super Mario Sunshine that I didn't like is the fact that they took away the long jump. I, I abuse the long jump in Mario games. I did in Super Mario 64, I do in Galaxy and Galaxy 2. So it's really tough getting used to not having it in Sunshine. Where'd Bowser get a spaceship anyway? I don't think he'd be smart enough to build one on his own. Maybe we're just not giving Bowser enough credit. Maybe he's a lot smarter than we think. He's a lot smarter than he lets on. Of course, if he was that smart, to, he could build a, a like an alien. If he was smart enough to build an alien spaceship, then I don't think he'd be losing to Morio all the time. He probably got that spaceship by doing what he does best, stealing it. Holy crap! Look at that! Just lift the castle right out of the ground. Yeah, like that's possible. <laughs> Jeez. I like how that spaceship moves. <clears throat> Not much to say here, you know what's going on. Mario! Mario! How are they breathing when they're up in space? How, how are they breathing in space? That's what I'd like to know. So long, enjoy your flight! Screw you, Magic Koopa. Mario! Whoa, <laughs> oh man, that is some wicked ass magic. Oh, jeez, Mario, you just got your ass whooped by a magic Koopa. Man, that is sad. Come on, you've taken Bowser down many times. How do you get your ass whooped by a magic Koopa? Seriously? Mario! Oh, it looks like something was flying out of there at the last second. God, it is so sunny outside right now. I mean, it was just a week ago we were getting so much snow. We had like three inches, three, four inches of snow in two days. And now it's like all bright and sunny, blue skies. It's like, geez, how does the weather change that fast? It's like, <sighs> it's a bunny rabbit! Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Alright, let's play. Come back here. Get back here. Ooh, star bit. Pick up a few star bits while you're here. I don't think you can actually catch him here. Whoa, or maybe you can. I almost did there. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. You don't have to catch him there. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Alright, sounds like a deal. Let's play a good game of hide and seek here. I used to play hide and seek a lot with my sister when we were little. That's one of the games we played a lot. 
So much fun. I miss doing that. You're never too old for hide and seek, in my opinion. It's so much fun, you know. Okay, I, I've completely... Oh, I thought that was a hole. I've completely forgotten where these rabbits are. I really have. Um... Isn't there one, like, in this hole? Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's go get him. Come here, bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. I want to make um, a, a Looney Tunes impression, but I can't think of one right now. I don't know why I'm blanking on the Looney Tunes, man. Blanking on the Looney Tunes. Well, t well you just stopped and let me catch you there. Yeah, I caught you already. Oh, if only I didn't in the pipe. Yeah, I give you a clue where the next one is. Uh, and the other one I think is hiding on grass. If I some grass somewhere, if I remember correctly. Let's find that pipe. Oh, I don't know my way around this planet. You're not on this planet long enough to really learn your way around it. Wait, isn't this where the other one is? Yeah. Oh, there's the pipe. Okay. I'm trying to remember where that is. Get back here. Oh, I just spit all over myself. <laughs> don't. Uh, my thumb is slipping off the joystick. I hate it when that happens. Oh, there, wait, there's another pipe. Or, or is that the same pipe? I don't know. <laughs> this all looks the same to me. You caught me! Oh, if only I didn't in the pipe. Yeah. Oh. Da -da. Da -da. Bunny rabbit! Come here, come here, get back here. Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit. Every time I see these bunnies, it reminds me of Bunnyery. From Pokemon. You know the Pokemon Bunnyery. Get over here. I like how in the um, newer episodes of the anime, um, I don't watch them that much because they're not they're not great to be honest. But like I like how Buniri has a cr um, no what is it? Dawn's Buniri has a crush on Ash's Pikachu. <laughs> it's hilarious, and Pikachu doesn't exactly feel the same way. So I don't know, that's the little f I think that's a little cool thing they added. It's funny. It's hilarious. Have you guys seen the Pokemon movie, The Rise of Dark? Darkrai? The Rise of Darkrai? Is that it? I don't know. That, actually, that movie's actually not too... Well, no, it's not that great, actually, compared to other Pokemon movies, but... I mean... There's some really hilarious scenes that really stand out to me in that movie. Am I talking about Pokemon? This is something... This is stuff I should talk about in the other LP. I've been watching you from... From here. Okay? This, is, this place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need power. You'll need the power to travel through space. Oh hell yeah, I want that power. That sounds awesome. Luma, can you get Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Oh, we got a pretty little star. It's a fat star too, very chubby. Fat little star. You have the ability to spin now! Shake the Wii Remote to go nuts. Disaster has struck us. Just as it... Just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Okay, God, I, I'm getting a song. I want to make a song reference to that, but I can't... It's like, I know there's a song... A, I, there's got to be, like... I know there's a perfect song there to make a reference to, but I can't think of it. Shake the Wiimote to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to send them. And kill them. Well, no, I don't know if you can actually kill enemies with it. Here we go! Oh, sorry if you can... I meant to turn that off. Sorry if you can hear my Wii Remote. It makes noises when you go through that stuff. I forgot. I meant to turn the volume on that off, but... Okay, now we got to collect the star bits. It's one of those planets. It's so many of these, so many of those in this game. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star al already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Well, I think that would be obvious. I mean, I could figure out not to fall in the black hole on my own. I mean, it doesn't exactly look too pleasant down there. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! We're failing already! I love it! I freaking love it! There will be failure, just like in Pokemon Coliseum, because just like Pokemon Coliseum, I have not played this game in quite a while. So, there will be failure. So, 
look for yeah, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to that. Hey, Goomba. Wait, where the hell's the other starship? Oh, it's there. Well, let's get the one up first. Might as well, seeing as I just... Okay. <laughs> I think that pop that little message pops up there only the first time you get the one up. Imagine if it did that every time you got a one up. That would be so annoying. I want to... I'm out of time on this video. But I don't want to end in the middle of a mission. Oh, well. I'm going to end it off here, guys. Sorry, I, I won't do this too often in the LP where I end it off in the middle of a mission, but I have to here since the beginning took so long. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. All right, looks like one of these Goombas has the key, so the next episode, we'll find the key. See you guys next time.